it's Charity and welcome to the For Rent Rags to Rentals or Rags to Riches or whatever you want to call it. Well, this is my sim, Zara Kamani, and she's going to be starting out actually renting a place instead of being a landlord. And what you can do is actually when you rent a place, if you choose to not purchase the furnishings, you actually are starting out with truly zero simoleons because the lot has no value. And when you go to move out, you won't get any credit for the lot. So right now we just have this empty room, which looks exactly the same as the other tenant room and the one upstairs, but the one on the bottom on the right is ours. And there is a shared bathroom. So we will be able to use the toilet and shower. And there is a stove upstairs for cooking, but there's no refrigerator in the main area. I guess because each individual unit had its own refrigerator and you're supposed to keep your own food in your own place. Uh, there is a grill, so we could make something like that, but we don't have any simoleons right now. And we're not going to go fishing to earn money. So the rules for this Rags to Riches is that we're going to only use the new features in order to get money. And of course it's raining, the weather is terrible. Oh well. So we have the discerning dweller aspiration for right now. And we're going to join a career. So the handy person career comes with for rent and you actually get to choose between 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. So I think this is actually a part time gig. Yeah, it shows up under part time. So if you were so inclined, you could choose different ones and have two jobs. But we're just going to use the handy person one and maybe do the 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. shift. And I think this means it works six days a week. That's a lot. Okay, and we got a work assignment complain about condition. Should Zara get a jump start and accept the assignment? Okay, that's a weird assignment. Who do we complain about? Find a worn object at home or in a shared area and complain about condition to a nearby sim. Okay, that might be a little bit difficult since we have nothing in our house, but if it's in a shared area, we would need a sim that is nearby, which I don't even know if we have a landlord yet because I didn't move anybody else in here. I don't know who owns the building. Maybe we'll just have to hang out for a while and play in the rain. Oh, we can actually call the property owner to visit. Yeah, and it says have the property owner visit your lot. Uh, that's one of our aspirational goals so we were able to do that we just need to get somebody else to move in in order to meet a rental neighbor because i don't think we have any neighbors okay i invited him in but it's not really counting okay now she's spying on him <laughs> okay we'll introduce ourselves so at least we know the property owner okay if we complain about rental conditions will he do anything about it Maybe that counts as complaining about conditions. Okay, no, that didn't do anything. Okay, it says find a worn object. I don't think any of these objects are worn because they're all brand new. I just moved here. So I'm basically going to fail this one. Okay, spy on someone is under the mischief and deception category. I wouldn't have known that. Maybe we can find a secret from him and blackmail him. Well, since it's a mischief interaction, maybe I should raise my mischief level. Oh, who's this? Oh, we actually have a neighbor now. Oh, I didn't know we would actually get a welcome wagon. Oh, under gossip, you can pry for secrets. That's in the friendly category for some reason. Okay, Zara has discovered that Alan has his secret ripped pants. <laughs> Okay. History class, third period. I was in the front row. I remember it was like yesterday. My teacher, Miss Sakamoto, asked each of us to give an impromptu speech on the history of Princess Cordelia. Naturally, I was a bit nervous, but nothing could have prepared me for what happened next. As I stood from my desk, I heard a terrifying rip 
as the seat of my jeans split open in front of everyone. And to top it all off, I was wearing an embarrassing pair of old void critter undies because yes, it was laundry day. It was mortifying. I swear I could still hear the cackling of my classmates in my nightmares. So now we're gonna blackmail them. I was hoping to get the meet a residential neighbor milestone, but unfortunately it is not giving me that, even though my rental neighbors are over. Okay, then you have to confront him about the secret under gossip. There's so many steps to this and it's sometimes hard to figure out where everything is on the menu. Now that the secret is known, Zara can choose to inform Ellen that she will hold on to the secret forever or blackmail him to keep the secret for cold hollered simoleons. Well, we need some cash. I'm sorry, Ellen. Okay, so blackmail is under malicious and the mean category. So at least that one makes sense. I don't know how it would go over for us to blackmail him in front of other people because they'll know his secret. And there we go, 100 simoleons. And Kasim is bleak in Willow Creek. You know what? I'm just so tired of hearing everyone talk about Willow Creek all the time. It's always Willow Creek this and Willow Creek that. I can't stand it anymore. I hate Willow Creek. I've spent way too much time there. But to me, even one minute is too long. It's just so willowy and way too creaky. You know that grass is greener on the other side saying, what if the grass in Willow Creek is a little too green? Ever think about that? Okay, so he doesn't like Willow Creek. That's not as embarrassing as your pants ripping in front of everyone. And we will get 100 simoleons from Kasim too. All right, 200 simoleons. Well, maybe I have enough money to buy a bed or something. But what I was also going to do is restrict myself to not buying from build mode. But maybe I'll just do that for the residential rentals that we own. I think I can buy for build mode from for the rental that I'm renting because I need something super cheap because I can't even afford the cheapest bed yet. And I can't afford a refrigerator. Why are you in my unit? I have not talked to you yet. She had to go in and sniff the air for some reason. Oh, baby, a challenge. Is it really crazy to dream of having an expansive family? Listen, I'm not a horrible person to want to have children with different partners. I can name at least five other Sims that have done it. I'd raise those kids right and make sure they didn't grow up too fast. But you're an elder. I've had plenty of parental help to go around too. Sure, juggling multiple relationships in various stages sounds overwhelming, but I've never been one to stray from a challenge. Um, the challenge would be you getting pregnant. Oh, you're the one that has the fruitcake though. I wonder if she likes fruitcake. I should try. Okay, I got a pretty tasty moodlet, so I guess she likes it. <laughs> and my neighbors are getting on to me about blackmailing people. Okay, I was able to greet new neighbor with that one. Do I get credit for that? No. I guess these are just regular neighbors, not residential rental neighbors. So I might have to move someone else into this unit. Grim Jealousy. Have you seen him? The Grim Reaper. I mean, he's just so elegant, isn't he? He's well-dressed, mysterious, and he's just got enough skeletons in his closet to keep things interesting for eternity. He's got it all. I mean, watching him work can be so magnificent. When he whips out that tablet, it always dazzles me. I would tickle a cow plant for one fraction of the style and charm Grim possesses. Isn't his aura just so magnetic? It's like it's drawing all of us slowly towards him with every passing minute. Ugh, I wish I was as cool as Grim. No one is as cool as Grim. I wonder if blackmailing ever fails. It seems like we always get a success for, with that. But she is nosy, so she also gets a bonus to trying to find out secrets. All right, maybe we have enough money to get a bed now. Well, I really don't like any of these beds. Maybe I'll wait. I wonder if you can pry the same person for secrets. I think you can. Toilet Terror. One day when I was a child, I was overcome with a glorious wave of playfulness. I wanted to get into the most raucous mischief I could imagine. So I set up a prank on the toilet in our house. Admittedly, I didn't find it that fun at the beginning. But once I heard the horrified screech of the first prank recipient, I couldn't get enough. I set that prank up on that toilet every day. I became an expert toilet prankster. 
whether family or visitors, our toilet was sending streams of water into the faces of everyone who dared to use it. I even pretended to be fooled by it and was never found out. So let's keep it that way. We haven't done it for years anyway. All right. Well, no, you're getting blackmail for that one. Oh, and that actually increases my mischief. All right, we have moved some people in, and I actually got a light in my apartment. So that's the only thing that I really need. Now, maybe we can meet some of these people, or are they just going to leave? Oh, come on. I guess they're going to go all the way over here and leave, even though their house is right there. No, you're going to stop and say hi to me. All right, we met a neighbor. Now, I guess it doesn't count if the property owner visited our lot when we called him up, so we have to wait for him to visit for some other reason. Hey, Caleb, do you have any secrets? I need some secrets. Okay, Caleb has the gummy tummy secret. Since the dawn of time, gummy bear pancakes have been regarded as a delicacy enjoyed by all. That notion ends today. I don't care if I'm the only one that thinks this. I will meet Grimm on this hill alone. Gummy bear pancakes are disgusting. The gooiness of the bear and the fluffiness of the pancake just don't work together. And oftentimes the bears just burn or remain gelatinous, a hard chew within an otherwise light and airy breakfast bite. Everyone would think I'm crazy if they knew. Ever since I was small, I pretended to enjoy these gummy goobers as it brought smiles to my family's faces. The guilt of crushing their happiness was too much. The possibility of alienating myself with this opinion too grand. And now you know, but it must stay between us. Can you imagine the potential outrage over such a con controversial topic? I think you're a little bit over the top, Caleb. I wish you could get more than 100 simoleons, but it seems to be that you get 100 every single time and that's it. And then he doesn't like us. Why are you coming in the bathroom? I gotta pee. Yeah, that's your fault, Caleb, not mine. Now she's spying on him. Don't just spy on him, get another secret. I don't think you get very much by spying on people. Prying for secrets just immediately gets you one every single time. At least for a nosy person. I'm not sure what would happen if you are not nosy. Secret llamas. When I was in elementary school, I started to harbor a growing disdain for authority. It would get so tiring following all the rules all the time. So in art class, I started only drawing llamas. Llamas ice skating, llamas going shopping, llama firefighters. My art teacher was furious and told me I had to draw something different from now on. I was livid. How dare she intrude upon my creative process. So I hid a llama in every subsequent piece of art I made. On the surface, it could be a painting of a rainbow, but take a closer look and the brush strokes reveal a million tiny llamas inside of the rainbow. Yeah, that's really um, ambitious for a kid. I don't think a kid could do that. I even etched a super detailed llama on the bottom of the vase as I, I sculpted during pottery. Thankfully, no one ever noticed. It's always been my little llama shaped secret. I just need to blackmail one more person, and I will have enough for a woodworking table. Well, no one is over here except for Caleb. Well, the apartments are a little strange, because when you're a tenant, you could actually buy things and add them to the outside of your apartment. And I'm not sure how that's going to work with moving. Because I moved in, do I get to own all of these? Because it looks like I own these things. Um... Well, the chair is not a good example, but stuff that I can drag into my inventory, I can put into my inventory and I can even sell them and get the money for them. So that doesn't seem right. But what I did is I had the landlord at a woodworking table because, hey, that seems to be reasonable to me. And so I'm just going to keep my simoleons and we're going to use it to get our handiness up to level three. We also need to get gardening level two, so I might have to buy some plants in order to plant them. Caleb, why are you over here? If you're over here, I'm going to get another secret from you. It seems like he can talk to me while I'm doing this, but I cannot talk to him. That's kind of weird. Now I'm a bear lever. Those rockets are dangerous, sure, but if you launch up into space in one and everything lines up just right, you can crest ever so slightly above the moon's orbital proximity.
time it correctly, and you could witness the greatest sight known to sim kind, moon bears. That's right. There are terrifying bears on the moon. I've seen them myself. Um, no, I don't believe you because you have not been up in a rocket ship. What? You don't believe me? Listen, they don't want anyone to know about those galactic quadrupeds. The things I saw when I was up there, it haunts me, but you can't tell anyone. If this gets out, I can't go back there. They can't take me back there. And that's kind of a silly secret. But I guess in the Sims world, anyone can go visit space because you just have to build a rocket ship. Okay, go home, Caleb. I'm done torturing you by getting your secrets. All right, should we get some... Ooh, garlic. Yes, I need to get some garlic so that the vampires won't get me in the middle of the night. <laughs> only two? I only get two seeds. Okay. And there are 100 simoleons each. Ouch. I don't think I'm going to buy more than one. Now, I think the woodworking table will also get you the indoorsy lifestyle and the technophobe lifestyle. All right, we're going to go nap on the bench upstairs because that's all that we have to sleep. And we have to go to work in eight hours. Oh, you can work from home? Let me try working from home. I don't know what that will be. I probably have to fix stuff and complain about conditions. And I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm probably not going to get any money out of that. No, no, don't cook anything. You're eating right now. <laughs> And she likes fruitcake. No, don't wash. Okay, don't wash the dish. I want to put it in the dumpster. I bought a dumpster so that we could go dumpster diving for furniture. Oh, I found a shower. That's freaking awesome. Why is all this stuff in my inventory? Oh, when I moved from the free house, it didn't give me an option to sell the furniture because all this stuff is free. And now it's all in my inventory. <laughs> oh, joy. Oh, I can call property owner to visit because my shower is broken. But honestly, I want to repair it myself. I need my handiness skill to go up. This shower is perfect for the type of place that I want to have anyway. Come on. Oh, no, the trash disappeared. Why did it disappear? <laughs> I think maybe they did that so that it won't count as trash overload. I wanted to scavenge for parts. Yeah, work from home. Com find a worn object at home or in a shared area and complain about condition to a nearby sim. I don't know how to find a worn object. They're mostly not even used. Okay, I finally found it. There is a complaint about condition too. When there is someone on the lot and there is a broken item but not if it's dirty. So I didn't see that on my shower when it was broken, but maybe that was because no one was currently on the lot. So I just broke the stove so I can complain about the condition. And it doesn't give me the person that's right outside. Okay, well, anyway, I don't see the person I'm complaining to, but hopefully this works and I get my work assignment done. Uh, no, maybe that person's not here anymore and so it doesn't count. Either that or this is just bugged. It, it looks like she's just thinking about it. And those people are not anywhere on the lot. I don't see them. Oh, she has unsuccessful complaints. Maybe I have to successfully complain. Come on. This is not working. Maybe if I go downstairs and invite someone to hang out with me, I can complain about the condition to them. It says she's already here. But she's in her apartment and I can't see her. Nobody is on this lot. I don't get it. Okay, the only person I can see is actually not a choice to complain to. Maybe because she's a tenant, I can't complain to her. So I have to get someone over here. No, no, don't, don't, don't wash that. Don't wash that. So maybe if I invite someone to hang out who is a neighbor but not a tenant, and then have him come upstairs. Oh, and the property owner has visited for, oh, there he is. Just for me inviting him over, I got credit for that this time. I guess it was bugged earlier. Okay, it looks like someone is standing near it this time. Maybe I can complain about, oh no, he leaves, fine. All right, now I'm gonna try complaining about conditions. All right, 
So this time it's working because it looks like she's saying something versus just waiting for him to get there. Oh, and she got 11 simoleons? Oh, that's from being paid from work. Yeah, that that's not worth it. Going to work earns you more money. All right, I'm just going to repair this because I cheated to break it, but my shower was broken. And we're going to make a garden pot because I want to keep some garlic in my room. Okay, fix something during an emergency, host a neighborhood potluck or pool party, and use an amenity in a shared space. Well, yeah, I'm doing that all the time. A trashy habit. Okay, so our landlord has a trashy habit. You're telling me you've never gone over to a neighbor's house to use their trash can? Taking out the trash can be such a hassle sometimes. All I want to do is get rid of all those gross water cups my house guests left everywhere, or maybe a spoiled grilled cheese once in a while. Sometimes I can't even be bothered to wash those dishes. I just need them gone. So if my trash is full, I'll just pop over to their trash can real quick and drop all the dishes in. They will never notice anyway. Um, yeah, I've had people at apartment buildings do stuff like that when you have assigned trash cans in a really big city and it is so annoying because your trash can is full because your neighbor's using it. So we're going to blackmail you for that one. All right, so a pool party is one way we can have a party and also we can have a potluck. Maybe we'll try the potluck first. It costs 300 simoleons, but you might get a grill. Uh, everyone needs to contribute, please. All right, now I'm not sure what is required to get people to actually contribute because it seems like when I tested, they didn't bring anything, which is so annoying. Okay, we'll compliment your potluck item even though you haven't brought anything. Okay, if you haven't brought anything, I'm going to blackmail you. Interstellar Interloper. When I learned how to walk as a toddler, I had a penchant for walking into trouble. One day, I found a big metal tube in my neighbor's backyard. He was fixing something on it and didn't notice when I toddled my way through the open door on its side. Of course, I'd brought my favorite toy with me and was happily playing with it while tucked away in a little corner. Well, little did I know this tube was actually a rocket ship that my astronaut neighbor was tuning up right before his next trip to space. But when the floor started rumbling beneath me and the light suddenly changed around me, I managed to hop over to the window and saw myself surrounded by stars. It was incredible, but I knew I'd get in huge trouble if I was found. So I hid in a a different little nook with a nice view of the window playing with my toy as I watched the stars and planets soar by. When we finally landed, I managed to sneak my way out and waddle home in just in time for dinner. Somehow no one noticed. Well, you were a toddler at the time, and I'm guessing since now you're an adult, you would not get in trouble for that because your parents are not going to yell at you as a, for something that you did as a toddler. Some of these secrets don't really make sense. Did anyone bring anything? I don't see that anyone did. I don't know what item you have to have in your house. Maybe you have to have a table and chairs for people to actually bring stuff. Obviously, the patio chairs don't count. Aiding and abetting? Oh, this looks like a juicy secret. There's someone I see in my neighborhood. He walks by every now and then. The other day, I noticed he carries a different color briefcase every day. This seemed odd to me, like who owns that many briefcases? I let curiosity get the better of me and followed him at a distance after I saw him walk by the next day. We walked for what felt like hours until finally he dropped his briefcase on a bench in Oasis Springs. I looked and didn't see anyone else around, so I snatched the briefcase and ran. When I got home, I opened it to find stacks and stacks of simoleons. That guy must be a really successful criminal. I panicked and ran as fast as I could, briefcase in hand. I ended up throwing it in the canal in Willow Creek. If anyone finds out, I could get in trouble. Or worse, I could get on the bad side of a local criminal. That's not aiding and abetting. You stole from him. That's even worse. You'd be in trouble for hiding the simoleons from the police. And you'd also be in trouble from the criminal. Oh, that's that's a juicy secret, but it's mislabeled. 
Maybe no one brings anything because they really all don't like me. I mean, I hate playing the bad person, but that's the only way you can really make simoleons right now. All right, we'll call to meal. Come on, you guys, come get some of my freak cake. None of them have any problems eating my food, but nobody brought a single dish and they were all supposed to contribute. So now I'm forced to looking in the dumpster for something else to eat because we have to eat four things. Okay, I found something. All right, so we have gold at the event now. I still can't believe that no one brought anything. Okay, you guys can all go home now. At least we got a gold medal, which means we got a grill. Now, there's already a grill here on property, so I'm probably just going to sell that. We need like 350,000 simoleons in order to buy the empty apartment building that I built. And it's in cruddy condition, but for some reason, because it's so huge, it just costs a lot of money. We might have to start out with a smaller building, but what I want to do first is finish the tenant aspiration and then probably get top level of the handiness career because I think there's probably only three levels to this since it is a part-time career. And then we'll think about how we're going to get 350,000 simoleons only using this pack. We can't do it 100 simoleons at a time. Okay, we're going to go to work this time. Right tool for the right job. Nothing beats the open road, breathing in all of that fresh air. It's always nice to step out of the normal day-to-day -day and go on a job out of town. Well, that would be the case if Zara remembered to properly pack her tools this morning. It's going to be hard to complete this task, missing crucial tools for the job. Hack it or delay the job. I guess we'll hack it. You know what they say, you can't fit a square peg into a round hole. Well, in this case, you can't fix a sink with a corkscrew. Zara should have known that this would never work. Now there is extra damage to deal with and lost time to make up. Okay, so it was actually a performance loss. And she's also uncomfortable because she's freaking and she doesn't like to go to work. Well, don't worry, Zara, you won't be going to work forever. Okay, we actually have a choco berry, so I want to get rid of one of these strawberry bushes and put a choco berry out since they are available year round. Oh, the property owner has come for a visit, so why are you visiting me again? I'm going to get zapped, aren't I? Because I'm uncomfortable and my handiness is not that great. Ooh, I've called to inform you that you're great, great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you okay well if i say money money give me now i might get a lot of money but but i have to get married if i say under what conditions i get two thousand simoleons right away i think we're just gonna try and get married i guess because we're gonna need more people in order to get three hundred fifty thousand simoleons okay now we have to find someone to marry why are you making coffee? Well, I guess you're tired. That makes sense. But you better drink all three cups. I think maybe we should be a coffee fanatic and I guess workaholic. And well, single and loving it would be nice, but we can't do that. We have to get married. Now we're just waiting for something to happen for an emergency or maintenance event. What I really need is a bed. Oh, I found a dirty double. Oh, well, at least it's a bed. Oh, there's a dust bunny. Maybe we can get something good from the dust bunny. We got a guts berry. Well, I guess it's something. No, Vlad, you are not going to come over and drink my blood. All right, she's extremely tired, so I'm going to have to go to sleep again. And yeah, we have gremlins. I did that so that I could actually... Oh, there's a water leak. Okay, this is a maintenance event. I need to repair stuff. Oh, and she needs to pee. No, let's, oh. Hopefully we can repair the toilet first because I need to pee. I'm fixing something even though it's not the thing that needs to be fixed first. And yes, that completed it. Okay, use the toilet. I think we might work from home tomorrow. Yeah, we have to work from home because we can't <laughs> get enough sleep. It says, call in assistance. Get back up by using the phone and select hire repair service. But that's going to cost me money. You shouldn't have to spend money when you're at work. Fine. 
but then I'm going to fix everything myself and lock the door. Or maybe I'll let them fix some things too. I got 11 simoleons for that. And it's going to cost me money. That cost me 119 simoleons. I'm giving that back to myself. My employer should have to pay for that. I should not. For some reason, it still says attempt to take shower and I don't know what else is broken. Maybe I have to attempt to take a shower in order to see if it's broken. I thought everything is repaired. Okay, there we go. Oh, the unit rating goes up. Oh, the property owner sent me 136 simoleons for helping to address the issue. That's cool. Oh, good. And someone's making food. We also need to clean these mold piles. What do you mean doesn't need your services today? Okay, so did he, someone call a uh, service, I guess? Hmm. We've got to clean the mold. Why are you cleaning the sink? I told you to clean the mold. Whatever. Oh, yeah, she has a little bit of sporosis from cleaning the mold. No, don't do that. I said to scavenge. What are you doing? You're doing things I told you not to do. She's about to pass out. Where's the mold pile? It says there are mold piles nearby, but I don't see any. Fine, I can use the other shower to scrub the spores off. Where's the mold? Is it in my bed or under my bed? Oh, it's under the shower. Well, that is not right. Yeah, I know it's only noon, but we're going to go to bed. No, Vlad, I have garlic. There's garlic right there. No, that should not be possible. My garlic plant is right there. I guess he's immune. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah. Goodbye, Vlad. He couldn't drain me, but he definitely made me not able to move for four hours. That kind of stinks. I need to use the toilet. She can't move, yet she's going to get out of bed and use the toilet? Yes, she will. And she slips in the mud puddle. But at least she can use the toilet. Okay, so we got some grapes. That's nice. So we really need to find someone to marry today. Who should we marry? Well, I'm not going to marry the landlord. We have bad compatibility with Bill. And Alan is married. So is Kasim. I don't know anything about the landlord, but I'm not going to marry the landlord. We have to find someone else. Oh, we got promoted. I guess we're, we're going to work for home because we need to actually... Oh, we need to install an upgrade. Okay. Why does she keep trying to make food? She's not hungry. Or maybe she's trying to clean it? No, it's only cook food. Okay. You're not hungry anymore. Well, maybe we could marry Bill just for a while and then divorce him or something. Okay, he's not into us. Well, there's no TV at the lounge. We won't be able to watch the season premiere. Okay, are there any single people here? We have good compatibility with Madeline. But is she single? She is. Okay, well, maybe we can flirt with her. Um, she's tense, though. She may not like this. No, she's not interested in me okay we'll have to find someone else hi joanna are you single typical sims is just going out when you need to get married and trying to find the first single sim that will accept you you're single oh and you're possible to flirt with great why is somebody barging into my conversation do we have good compatibility or at least not bad? Okay, yes, we're good compatibility. That's great. Oh, no, it's an awkward encounter. Someone else is butting in my conversation again. Okay, just stop talking then. Maybe we could come up here and no one will bother us. But then again, you know how Sims are. They're going to bother you no matter where you go. No, don't pry for secrets. We don't want to know secrets about her. Okay, first kiss. And we can already woohoo in the hot tub. Okay, Zara is romantic? Sure. She's only romantic because she has to be. Okay, will you be my girlfriend? Sure. 
Okay, now if we propose marriage with this low of friendship, I don't think it will work. So we need to work on our friendship a little bit. Maybe we will pry for secrets, but we'll offer to keep hers. Coffee connoisseur. It started out innocent, although I'm sure that's what they all say. One morning while I was waiting for my order at the coffee shop, the barista called out what I thought was my name. Grabbing the cup, I soon realized I was off by about six letters, but I'd already taken the coffee. They'd I'd caught with the barista, acknowledging confidently that it was mine. When I returned, she remembered me. Soon everyone at the coffee shop knew me by this false name, and I kept going, and I kept taking this person's coffee. That's when things really flew off the rails. I was recognized in public by this new name. Over time, it became hard to differentiate this persona from my real life. What's next? A long lost spouse? Kids? Who knows? Good coffee, though. Yeah, that's a little far fetched. Yes, we will keep your secret. Oh, she's a loner? Well, that may not be good. We can ask her to join the household, though. Oh, she's non committal. That may be a problem. Yeah, we're not going to ask her to join the household until she agrees to marry us. Okay, we'll become best friends first. I don't know if she's going to agree to marry me. She's hot-headed, a loner, and non-committal. That last one is a big one because typically when you just had a first kiss on the same day, they're not really going to accept a marriage proposal. So let's try going home. Live together? I've been thinking about this a lot and I wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Okay, um, sure. And she lives with two other people. Maybe they're her family, which is kind of annoying because I can't take all their stuff. Oh, well, I won't take their money. But she does have to take something with her. I think we're going to take 5,000 simoleons because we have to buy her a bed or something. Oh, and she's the villainous Valentine aspiration. Oh, well, she's not a very good partner at all. She's got like the worst traits. Oh, well, I'm going to have Zara propose. And if she rejects me, we're just going to take this as a sign as it's not meant to be. Oh, she actually accepted. Well, I guess we're getting married and getting our money. We're just going to elope because we're not having a wedding. We're eloping in our swimsuits out in the middle of the street while it's raining. We got 20 grand. All right. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and finish this respected resident aspiration. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll buy a building somewhere. It won't be the one I want, but we'll buy a building and we'll try and make some more money that way because you can make money as a landlord with fines, but you can't really make very much by renting stuff out unless you have really, really nice units. What? Hysterical. Oh. oh, I lose so many Sims to hysteria. That's not even funny. She was here for two minutes. What the heck? Okay, where is Grim? I'm confident. Maybe we can save her. Although maybe this is a sign that it's not meant to be. Quit trying to sleep. Come on, Grim. Uh, he just teleported. Ah, uh, no, no. Come on. Demand she be spared. Hurry up. I thought it was going to take him a while to get up there, but he just teleported up there. Um, he doesn't look too sympathetic. He looks like he's kind of bored. Um... No, there goes our spouse. Well, I guess now it doesn't matter that she wasn't really that great of a person. I didn't really want her dead, but that was not my fault. Well, that was unexpected. Zara wants to be friendly with, with Johanna from being romantic partners. Johanna is having a rough day. I'll say she is. Okay, let's pry and see if Grimm has any secrets. Since he wouldn't spare my wife. No, don't say goodbye. So we'll confront Grimm and see if we can get anything out of him. 
being grim. Of course he's grim. Soul reaping is not for the faint of heart. When you've been around as long as I have, you've witnessed a series of fateful events. But even as death, I have lived a full life. I have loved, I have lost. There are times where I pitied and obliged, and times where I've been downright medieval like this time. I even owned a cowboy hat once, although I'm not sure where I put it. Unfortunate for you, death's secret is not one I can share. Mere mortals learning of such things before their time would be a grave mistake. Ha ha. One that would haunt you till the end of days. But I will leave you with this. Rest up before you rest in peace. The afterlife can be quite lively. All right, so what if we blackmail Graham? We'll probably only get a hundred simoleons. Yeah, that's it. All right, well, bye Graham. I know you don't like me anymore. All right, we have to work. Oh, we're working from home. We need to install an upgrade before 10 a.m. Um, not sure that I can do that. Okay, I can make sturdy faucets for this one. Come on, Zara, you got to get out of the shower. We have to make an upgrade before 10 a.m. I completely forgot about that. Don't talk to Grim, just finish it. And I don't think it's going to work because I'm after 10 a.m. now. Okay, it did work. Oh, and I forgot at midnight everything breaks. Great. I did this so I could get my handiness skill up, but unfortunately, it also means that I have to fix everything every day. Oh no, toxic mold, where? Oh, we have to clean that. Come on, I was mopping up the puddles. I just didn't get them in time. No, mop up the puddles in your apartment. I don't want her to go upstairs and mop them up. I guess we have to work from home again. Her energy is never going to recover. Find a worn household object at home or in a shared space and select restore newness. I can only repair. What's this restore newness? And it's love day today. That is so sad. And down she goes. We have got to get a better bed. All right, hopefully I can fix the toilet before I have to pee. No, you can't come in and fix my broken things. Go away. Let's just buy a moodlet solver for her. This is so painful. All right, everything up here is fixed. Oh, no, I got fried. Oh, no. Yeah, I kind of forgot that this is also electrical. It's not plumbing. Oh, rats. All right, well... Who's over here that can bleed for me? Uh, you <laughs> are now in my household. All right, Grim. This is probably not going to work because I do not have a death flower. But it's always worth a try. Sometimes Grim is merciful. Not this time. All right. Well, we can't have that, Grim. Come on. Apparently, the tombstones no longer appear when Grim takes someone, which is kind of weird. Okay, so apparently, when I added someone from outside of my household to my family and had them plead with Grim, that just crashed the game. I couldn't save, and when I went to Manage Worlds and came back... I'm at the last save point where I was. So we're just gonna avoid that whole death thing this time and call it good luck. We have a little bit of a groundhog day here. Okay, we actually got dazed this time by fixing this thing. All right, no more fixing electronics. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that restore newness option because I don't know how to do that. Maybe by restore newness, they mean replace, but I'm not going to, I'm going to try and see if that's what they mean. Okay, I have no idea how this happened, but my game crashed and I expected to repeat Groundhog Day from where we started before up here for the third time, but somehow my game is in the state where I left it at the crash. 
how in the world did that happen? Did the Sims team find a way to actually recover from the scratch file? Um, if they did, that would be awesome, but I have never seen that happen before. I did not save. It, the game just closed on me and I reopened it and I'm back where I was before. Okay, let's see if I get credit for restoring newness by replacing this. No, I didn't think so. And just to be safe, I'm gonna save. Oh, and there's a water lake. Yeah, because I broke it on purpose. Wait a second, is there a restore newness option now? No, I can complain about condition two, but I can't restore newness. I wonder what that means. I didn't set this place as cursed either, and for some reason I am getting electrocuted a lot. All right, maybe we can have a pool party because that one is a little bit cheaper. Socialize while swimming, okay. Okay, Olive has the not so merry secret. When it comes to receiving gifts, I'm much harder to please than most. What can I say? I just have unique tastes. Regardless of my personal pickiness, there is also a lot of mediocre or even straight up terrible gifts out there. So yeah, maybe I did repurpose a few of those disappointing gifts I received. I turned them into gifts for others. Sometimes I even give the gift back to the person who gave it to me after enough time has passed. It's just efficient and they hardly ever notice. You know what they say, one Sims trash is another Sims treasure. Just uh, maybe keep this to yourself. I wouldn't want anyone to know I'm a serial regifter. Yeah, I don't like gift giving in the first place. Okay, you need to be swimming when you're talking. Okay, we need to have drinks, socialize in a hot tub, which I don't have, and relax in a float lounger or lounge chair, which I don't have. Okay, well, I can have drinks, although it doesn't count unless I actually drink it, which is a, a little bit of a shame. That doesn't count as having a drink when I get water. I guess only the coffee will. What is Olive demanding? Oh, she's giving me a gift? Olive wants to put the past secret behind her, and there is no better way than to pay off Zara. Zara takes the money for now, but there might be more secrets to find, okay? I guess if you don't blackmail them, then they will confront you and pay you off? No, don't get out. We have to get in. Why does everything have a walking thing next to it? I don't want them to get out of the tub. I have to socialize while I'm in the hot tub. Stop getting out. Finally, I was able to talk to him while sitting in the hot tub. Okay, we got gold. That's all we need. They ate all my food. Okay, we got gold. We're going to send everybody home now. And we spent 100 simoleons on that party and got a pool lounger that was worth 70 simoleons. Okay, well, the potluck is definitely the better deal. All right, now I need to become good friends with the property owner and successfully break a unit rule, which is going to be difficult because there are no rules right now. Why does she keep doing things like cleaning up that I have not told her to do? Go use the toilet. It seems that cleaning a plumbing object is now an instruction to go around the house and clean everything else when you're done. Hey, Neighborly chat. Nice That's kind of different. And they sit there with their arms folded. It's kind of cute, actually. All right, I made myself a new bed. So this is actually pretty cute in here now, except for the shower that's kind of up against the wall where the air conditioning is. The, yeah, that's not ideal, but at least I have a better shower than what's in the common area. Okay, so we can call over the landlord, but unfortunately I cannot break a rule because there is no rule in this unit and I didn't realize that when I moved in. So we'll try to make good friends first and then I'm going to have to somehow move into a unit that has a rule. So I don't want to start over with a new landlord until I make good friends with him. Oh, he's sad for some reason. That's going to make it hard to make friends with him. Maybe we can cheer him up. I don't know. Hopefully he's not gloomy. No, that didn't look very good. Oh, now he's fine. Okay, that's good. And he's outgoing. And he's also cheerful and active. 
I would just use Social Bunny to make him an instant good friend, but that tends to not work with wants, so I'm not sure if it would work with the aspiration. Okay, how far does the bar need to go up? All right, there we go. All right, we are good friends with him. Now, I guess we can move out and try and change the rules and move back in or move into a different place that has a rule. The only thing is, I think you have to give notice and that may cost me some money. Okay, so I couldn't figure out how to play my current landlord because he was nowhere in the world. So I had to edit this unit and since this one had the property owner living upstairs I could edit the lease and set some rules now this is a huge place I really should not be able to stay in here but hey I just need to break a rule and then I will be gone all right the rule I'm going to break probably is going to be no parties let's have a potluck with my property owner right there I'm going to call and schedule a potluck Yep, tenant rule violation. Well, I think that completes my discerning dweller aspiration. So after we do this, we can go buy our own property. Um, I might need a toilet somewhere. I do not have a toilet. Oh, well. Do I have any food or the ability to make food? Not really. All right, I guess we should craft a kitchen counter. Oh, people actually brought food. That's amazing. Okay, well, we don't actually need a counter now. So we should compliment his potluck item. It's so much easier to do this when people bring food. Look at all that food. Well, okay, I guess free love is in this area because people are kissing each other for no reason. Okay, I'm going to put all this food in my refrigerator for later. This is a good way to just get a bunch of free food. Oh, we do need to clean up. I wonder if throw away counts as cleaning up. Uh, it might not. I might need a sink. Okay, don't clean up everything. All right, that got me gold. It cost me some money, though. Well, that's the end of this week. And now that we've actually finished the tenant aspiration, we can move out into our own building after tonight and then start with our landlord aspiration. And this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Bye.